Hello Year 2 and welcome to our second session on that book that was called Follow the Moon Home. So let me share my screen with you and we are on Follow the Moon Home 2. So let's remind you about the book. So we'd got halfway through and we'd realised that there was a bit of a problem. And the problem was that the turtles were going the wrong way, weren't they? They were following the lights from the houses instead of the light of the moon. And then they were getting stuck on the beach. Instead, they need to follow the light of the moon and then that gets them into the sea. So... What could we do to help the situation? And I've got some ideas here that I've taken from the book. Um, and let's see what we've got. So if I just, there we go. And you can see now. So the first one is write a letter. We could write a letter to the people staying in the houses along the beach and tell them what they could do to help save the turtles. We could have a meeting. We could have a meeting and invite everybody from the town and tell them what they need to do to save the turtles. We can make signs for the beach. Although in the book, we'd already seen that they had signs up on the beach. So maybe that's not making enough of a difference tell everyone about it I think that seems like that would take a very long time and I don't think you'd be able to get around everybody so that doesn't seem very realistic spread the word on the internet hmm how would we do it so that it would get across to everybody because we wouldn't be sure that everybody in the town would see it they might not use the internet create posters we could make posters and stick them up all around town so do you have any more ideas and i would love you to share them with me so i have added my ideas here so we've got letters internet talk posters and signs have you got any more ideas maybe you could talk with the person that you've got at home or talk to somebody at school and add to my poll here anything you think that we could use to spread the word about saving the turtles so there's two ways that you can do this you can either go on follow this website link and go on this web page and then all you need to do is add one word and it will join on to my poll here and I will be able to see it. Or you can text this here, Miss Pomfret 331 to 22333. So either go on the website, which I think would probably be the best option for most people, or text this and just add your ideas to my poll and I can't wait to see them. And you might notice when you go on the website that other people have added to this and it looks bigger and there's loads more ideas. So let's share our ideas and I can't wait to see them. So shall we write a letter? I think that is probably the best option to get the word out there and make sure that everybody knows what they can do to help the turtles. Hmm, we wrote letters. I know we did in Robin's class. We wrote letters last term before Christmas. I wonder if anyone can remember what letters look like and what they need to include. So I have got a blank letter template here, but I'm not sure what should go where. Should I put my name up here? Should I put the date here? Hmm, I can't remember. Can you talk to whoever you're with 
and see if you can work out and see if you can remember from our last lesson on letters, what should go in these blank spaces? So pause the video now and have that talk. See if you can work out what should go in each of the spaces. Oh, well done. Thank you for reminding me. So at the top here, we've got your address. And when we write one in a minute, you can make one up. I don't need your real address. You can make one up. So the ad address goes there. Hmm. Why do we need to put the address? Ah, so they know where to send a letter back to. So if somebody read our letter and they wanted to respond to it, they would need to know our address. They would need to know where to send their response to. So that's why we put our address on letters. Hmm, what goes here? I think it's probably your name. Oh no, Miss Pomfret was wrong. It's the date, the date goes there. And you need to make sure that when you put the date in, it is the date that you have written the letter. And why do we need to put the date there? So that the person who receives the letter knows when you sent it and if the information in the letter is still correct, if it is still relevant. And then here we put who the letter is to. So when we wrote letters before, we put to and then we put their name or dear and then we put their name this time I wonder what we will put because we're going to be writing letters to lots of people so later on I think I'll let you know who we are going to address the letter to but for now you need to know that we put to and then who the letter is to or dear and then who the letter is to and then we need to write our message we need to write what we want to tell them otherwise what's the point in writing a letter we put the address on there the date on there their name and then no message and doesn't make sense so we need to make sure that we include what we want to say and then we need to say goodbye. And when we were writing letters before, we said we would put from. So you put from and then your name, or you could put yours sincerely, which makes it a bit more formal. And I think these letters that we're gonna do this time are a bit more formal. So I think we should include yours sincerely like I've got here, yours sincerely, or you can do from if you want to. And then you add your name underneath so that they know who the letter is from. So what features do our letters need? Normally, when we're doing a bit of writing in class, we need to work out what our what our writing needs to include. And I know you are fantastic at doing this, especially in Robin's class, I know, but I'm sure the woodpeckers and owls are too. So we need to make sure that at the beginning of our, of our sentences, we have got our capital letters. And we also need to ensure that at the end of our sentences, we have got our punctuation. So we need our full stops, ha, and our exclamation marks, she, ha, and our question mark, she, 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 ha. So make sure that you include those at the end and make sure that you are trying your best to get the spelling correct. And there's an extra challenge. Could you include conjunctions? So remember the conjunctions that we have? So, but, and, because, any of those, and some noun phrases. So maybe you could describe what the turtles are like. And what else does our letters need to include? So in the book, they had this class project, Community Action. 
So, Vivian in the story identified a problem that we need to solve. So she's done that, we can tick that off. And we have figured out what we are going to do. We are going to write our letters and inform people of what they can do to help protect and help save the turtles. So now we need to take action and put our ideas into action and tell the story. We need to show how you and we can make a difference. So they are the stages that we are on at the moment. So who are we going to write our letters to? Hmm, I may have said it earlier. We are writing our letters to the people that are staying in the holiday homes. And it may be easier because we are going to be sending this letter out to quite a lot of people in the town. We should start our letter with dear sir or madam. And that includes everybody. So we're not directing it to one person or two people or a family. We are writing our letter to lots of people in the town. So you can write dear sir or madam and that will include everybody. And then the message, what are we trying to say in our letters? Hmm, I wonder if you know. We are writing our letters to tell people what they can do to help save and protect the sea turtles. So we need to tell them what the problem is because they might not know. As they're new to the town and they're just staying there on a holiday, they might not know what the problem is. They might not know that the sea turtles are in danger because of the lights are being left on. And then we need to give them clear instructions so they know how they can help. So we need to tell them the problem and give them clear instructions. So that's covered who we're sending the letter to and the message that we're including in the letter. So remember, these are our take action and tell the story. So how can they help? And in the story, they have given us some really good ideas. So they have said that in order to save and protect the turtles, we need to do <clears throat> these three key things. Keep the beaches dark. And in order to do that, people need to turn off their outside lights and close their curtains during the nesting season, which will hopefully keep the beaches really dark. And then they need to stay clear. They need to make sure that they do not disturb the nests, adult turtles or hatchlings. So they just really need to stay away from the turtles. And then the third point is that they need to get involved and they can volunteer to help protect the sea turtles on the beaches. And they are the three key points that were included in the book in order to help protect the sea turtles. So I think we should include these three main points in our letters when we're writing to the people in the holiday homes. So this is our activity for today. We are going to be writing our letters. And in the medium challenge, the middle one that you'll probably, most of you will do, you need to use the template that I'm going to send out or just a piece of paper is fine. That is absolutely great because you can just write the different sections that you need. And remember, we are writing it to explain how the people in the holiday homes can help protect the sea turtles. And you can go back to any of my slides before to help you see what we are writing and who we are writing it to. And the easier challenge is exactly the same as the main challenge, but you can magpie the ideas from my example that I'm going to show you in a minute. I had a go at writing a letter to the people in the holiday homes. And then if you need to, you can have help to write it out. 
but there's an extra challenge and I'm really hoping that some of you will do this give this a go um, it's the same as the main challenge but try to include conjunctions and noun phrases in your letter so as I said earlier maybe you could describe the sea turtles use really good descriptive adjectives um, for the beach or the town anything like that and could you include how you think the sea turtles are feeling so maybe go a bit more in depth and think about how they're feeling at the moment do you think they're sad about what's going on because a lot of the turtles aren't making it to the um sea so i think they probably would be quite sad and then please share your letters on class dojo and enjoy so i have got this is the challenge for you and I have got my example letter in a second to show you and then we will hear the rest of the story so let me show you my example letter here we go enjoy in order to help you read it I am just going to read the main part of my letter to you it says I hope you are enjoying your holiday in Eastbourne we are writing to let you know that the lights from the houses along the beach are confusing the sea turtle hatchlings the hatchlings should be following the moonlight to the sea instead they are following the house lights we can save the sea turtles by keeping the beaches dark at night, staying away from the turtles and volunteering to help protect the turtles. Please turn off your outside lights at night and close your curtains. And there I have signed it at the bottom. So I've told them exactly what the problem is and the ways that they can help protect the sea turtles. So feel free to magpie any of my ideas. And then I think it is time to hear the end of the story. And I wasn't gonna leave you without finishing the story. So here is me reading the story for you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the story. Okay, so we finished our story on this page yesterday. And I wonder if you can remember what happened. What did we learn yesterday? So Vivian found a problem, didn't she? And what was that problem? Oh, that's it, yes. It was the fact that the, the lights were confusing the loggerhead sea turtles. And we needed to find a way of telling everybody in their, um, their holiday homes that they need to turn off the lights so that the loggerhead sea turtles don't get confused and they follow something else which will guide them into the sea. So I wonder what ideas they came up with. Hmm, let's see. We made posters and delivered them all over town. We wrote fact sheets for all the vacation beach houses. And they've got one here and it says, lights out for loggerheads. 
Let's keep our beaches dark at night. Turn off outside lights and keep curtains closed. Thank you. And there's a doggy here. He's got his invitation to the town hall. Maybe they're having a meeting to let people know what they need to do. To pay for the printing of our flyers and posters, we held a bake sale. Andy, the coffee shop man, donated a whole pan of his famous granola and you can see it there in the bowl at the bottom. The editor promised to put my article in the community newspaper. Nice to have a new writer in town, she said. The printer gave us a discount for the loggerheads. Rebecca and Max learned how to spread the word on the internet and you can see down there they've made an article or a post that can go on the internet and let people know what they can do to help. And Mr J from school helped us write a press release. I was on TV as a class spokesperson and can you see she's being recorded there. We invited volunteers from Scoot, the South Carolina United Turtle Enthusiasts, to a town meeting. When the big night arrived, the room was packed. The room buzzed with ideas. Everyone's talking about it. We talked about how to make our beach a great place for turtles, how to mark nests, how to run nightly patrols and what to do if hatchlings get in trouble. And they've got, they've got a big poster here and it says, do keep beaches dark, turn off outside lights during nesting season. Do stay clear, don't disturb the nests, adult turtles or hatchlings. Do get involved, volunteer, help protect sea turtles on our beaches. And then they've got, they've got a really important slogan at the bottom here, lights out for loggerheads campaign. So they've been really clear with what people need to do. They've given very clear instructions. At the end, we decided to form our own volunteer group. People cheered from our class. Mr. J beamed, I'm proud of you all. That was the best night ever until, hmm, I wonder what could beat that. On the last evening of summer school, we went on a turtle patrol. Lots of parents came too. Everyone smiled as we watched the lights along the beach go out one by one. So everybody in these holiday homes, they're all turning their lights off for the loggerheads. Everyone smiled as we watched the lights along the beach go out one by one. We had done it. Suddenly a movement on the sand caught my eye. Over here, I whispered. We crept closer, careful to stay quiet. A crescent moon shone on the waves. The sea glittered like silver. I made out first one, then two hatchlings. Soon the sand seemed to boil over with life. Tiny turtles, no more than two inches long, burst from the nest. We watched, barely daring to breathe. They needed to so quiet. Would they know where to go? Hmm, I wonder, would they know where to go? Then they were off, scurrying, scurrying over the sand and into the shimmering sea. Can you see them all there? All the turtles. Off they go into the sea. They're going the right way. We stood together smiling and silent with wonder. Then, just like the turtles, we followed the moon home.
And there we go. The turtles go back safely to the, the sea and Vivian and her mum and their two doggies and they went home and they followed the moon home. What a lovely story. How did you feel about the ending of that story? And how, I wonder if you can just talk to somebody that you're with and think about how would you feel at the end of that story if you were Viv or if you were the loggerhead turtles? So just have a quick chat about how you would feel if you were Viv or if you were the loggerhead turtles. Well done. I think they would be very proud and very pleased. I think the loggerhead turtles would be very happy. So good luck with your letter writing and I cannot wait to see them. I bet they are going to be fantastic. And go back to any of the slides or magpie any ideas that you need to. Well done year two and I can't wait to see them. Bye.